Hi Virgo, welcome to your April Twin Flame Love Tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Inside Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome and thank you. So Virgo, if you, be you believe you're connected to a, to a Twin Flame, in Twin Flame Union or not, or whatever your situation may be, going to see what's going on here. So I'm going to do a little bit of you versus them. I'll be putting the masculine here, the feminine there, and then we'll get a little bit about the purpose and mission of the two of you and other energies that we need to know about. And of course, we'll use some tarot as well. So welcome in Virgo. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, general collective rating. Only take what resonates, including the signs mentioned. You definitely can flip it, switch it, Masculine and feminine, if you have to switch it, switch it. Across watchers as well. And females can be masculine, males can be feminine. Please do keep that in mind. And I might may say he, she. It's just the energy of the masculine and feminine doesn't necessarily literally mean a male person and a female person. So take it how it resonates for you. All right, Virgo. I have done these in the past before, so I changed the format a little bit. You can find my older Twin Flame readings in your playlist. You can check those out. You can let me know how you like this style. All right, Virgo, let's see what is going on. So we're going to look at the masculine first. Let's see. We have, act as if your partner is here, 37, which is 10, which is about endings, full closure, completion, new beginnings. Whether you have someone in your life or not, to act as if they are with you so you will always consider them. Hmm, okay. And love who you are eight which is infinity past lives putting in the work travel action movement you are div you are a divine and wonderful person deserving deserving all of the wonderful things that life has to offer i don't have my glasses on which i should have my glasses so hmm i'm feeling like this masculine wants to be in the feminine's life but he may, may need to really, really learn to love himself um, as well. So maybe he's not completely at peace with himself or loving himself the way he should be right now. Because we have love who you love who you are. So he could be having some issues with who he is, what he is, what he's doing, you know, how he's living his life right now. Whether it stems from childhood issues, other issues that happened in his life. He needs to be more... Um, loving nourishing caring compassionate with himself i feel but i feel like he wants to be part of his feminine's life so this could be holding him back maybe the feminine is not aware of that or he's not understanding why maybe he's having this hesitant energy towards the feminine all right let's so let's see what's going on with the feminine we have the union of hearts and we have 28 which is 10. so you both have a 10 here endings and new beginnings there is a connection of love that defies explanation. Wow, look at that. Roots planted deeply, many past lives together. There's still room for expansion and growth here because don't trees keep growing? So, and we have physical touch is important. 47, which is 11, life path, soul path number, half of the twin flame number. For some of us, nothing is more important than a tender touch. This might include a pat on the back or giving a hug to someone who needs it. So there's definitely a deep spiritual connection here as well. And I do see here the feminine very, very receptive to when the masculine comes in here because she knows this is quite a connection here. And he's longing to come in and be this for the feminine and be in this energy, but say, yet he's having some maybe self-worth issues I'm feeling. All right, let's see. Let's see where this is going. Everything you need to know is down below, Virgo. Your playlist is down there. List of readings I do here. I do eight love readings a month. You can check that out. If you like general readings, check out my other channel. Uh, link is below. Two general readings a month over on that channel for each sign. All right, Virgo. So let's see. Let's take a little bit of a deeper look here at the masculine. Let's see what is going on for him. The masculine. Okay. Say I want one, two, three, four. That's way too many. Like I only want six, not like twenty. All right. Let's see. Four of Cups in reverse. He's pretty certain he does want the feminine. Four of Cups in reverse is knowing what you want. 
<laughs> There's no uncertain terms here. He knows he wants the feminine. He wants to be with the feminine. Tower. But he needs some sort of, like, uh, shake up, wake up. Something to, like, jolt his energy here. Justice in reverse. So he knows it's not a fair situation right, in it. right now. He knows he has to go come in to the feminine, do the moral and just right thing. That is also, you know, soul contract, life contract, past lives. So maybe he didn't realize this before, and now he's having the big wake-up call with the tower. He knows change is needed as well. Two of Cups, there's that spiritual connection, just like she has here. The Union of Hearts. Queen of Pentacles. Something, now, the may, the Divine Feminine, uh, Divine Masculine could be female. I mean, it doesn't have to be, though. But um, not that's not having self-worth. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Exactly. So spirit backing me up on that ace of swords so so the ace of swords is kind of like the tower but the tower would over trump the ace of swords because the trump <laughs> the trump <laughs> the tower is a major arcana over trumps everything here and he does have two majors here so ace of swords could be about not seeing something clearly not facing the truth um he needs that awakening epiphany aha moment in some way shape or form here so there could be something with the uh, two of Cups energy here. I'm feeling like maybe the feminine needs to send him a little more energy, healing energy maybe. Maybe he's not feeling it. He's pretty certain what he wants, but there's something here about he's not quite getting enough energy or feeling enough here to make that big, big change that's needed here. If that makes sense. Totally different. I just did Leo in, in the feminine was giving way too much of her 5D energy off to the masculine. And it could be here that the uh, feminine is more concentrated on 3D. It's not really giving any 5D energy to the masculine. And I think maybe that's what he needs. Total, total twist from Leo. Seven of Swords energy. So I don't feel any negative energies around this because it is in reverse. But death in rebirth. So that is about a transformation here. Two of Wands. Kind of like waiting for some sort of path to open up. So he can transform his energy. He doesn't really want to run. Seven of Swords is in reverse. That's about not running. That's not avoiding. That's not being, um, you know, negative in any way. Let's see. King of Wands. Fiery, passionate energy here. And, you know, Wands is the Twin Flame energy. You know, the Four of Wands is fire. Queen, look at that. The King, Queen of Wands. But I kind of feel like the the feminine is over here going this way and the masculine is just kind of like over here. So there's not a balance of that 5D energy exchange here. So that could be really what is not, it's not coming through for the masculine or something like that. If that makes sense here. Because she could be focused more on, and I'm not saying she needs to take all her energy and give it to the masculine. No way. But more of a balance, giving a little bit to the masculine cause keeping a lot of it for herself as well we do have a, a couple here this is the fire element king queen of wands so we have leo aries as well as uh scorpio let's see here uh capricorn libra aries all right so let's see what's going on with the feminine <clears throat> So if you need some sort of shift, wake up call, that could be divine intervention as well with the tower. But something, something needs to wake him up here. And maybe all of a sudden getting some of that energy from the feminine, he may start to have dreams. He may start to like see things and hear things and smell things and sense things and have dreams and deja vu and all these things happening, which may start to wake him up, wake him up as well. All right. But also, there's something here with the self-value or self-worth. Maybe he's thinking he's not good enough for the feminine. All right. So, let's see here. Maybe she just needs to tell him, you know, energetically that it's all okay. You know, maybe she's not really communicating. But you do have the, the connection here. So, maybe it just isn't being utilized. Five of Pentacles. So she's feeling lack right now. I think a physical lack because pentacles are physical. The moon. So feeling, I feel like we need, to, I feel like this connection needs to start connecting more 5D. 
telepathically, energetically. I don't feel like there's a lot of this going on right now because I'm seeing so much energy here of, okay, I want to come to the feminine, but I'm unclear. I don't feel maybe I'm not good enough or I'm not good enough or the self-worth or there's been issues in the past. I don't know here. But there's no de denying the connection here with the Two of Cups. And you both have like the Two of Cups and the Union of Hearts. And the feminine is like more focused on the physical separation and loss at this time, which is just putting you in a state of illusion and kind of like disconnecting from the moon, which is very, very intuitive energy, being like psychically connected or energetically connected. The fool kind of needs an energetic reset here. So maybe healing the chakras or doing guided meditation or some sort of healing energy healing work first maybe on the feminine side um i'm not so sure if the masculine even knows you know any of this but the feminine does here want to take a leap of faith towards the masculine she's ready for the physical aspect of this but i think this really needs to ground down in the 5d energy first i don't think it's quite there yet ace of pentacles yep kind of clarifying that as a yes judgment in reverse in the three of wands i feel like the feminine is just waiting for the physical connection with the masculine she can't let go judgment here in reverse can't let go um because upright i kind of see like giving up into the universe that energy that uh, 5d telepathic energy but in reverse it's kind of the opposite <laughs> so but not really being able to let go as well definitely soul contract here and it's like waiting 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 for the masculine to come in physically hmm interesting let's see we have pisces aquarius scorpio All right virgo so so it's on the bottom of the deck king of swords in reverse a lot of unclarity you know unclear energy here eight of pentacles not putting in the work into the spiritual connection oh my god high priestess are you kidding me right now you know maybe you kind of took all your energy back from the masculine uh, virgo but maybe it's time to start giving a little back not all of it maybe before you were giving all of yourself energetically um spiritually but it's like it's okay to give a little bit and I think that's definitely what's missing here. So there's unclarity, unclear on the masculine, not putting any work into the spiritual connection here. Because look at that, we have the lovers. There's the connection happening now. Wow, conflict over. And then the wheel starts to turn here. Wow, moving in the right direction. Fate, destiny, divine timing, things getting better. Things meant to be. Ace of Wands. And there's that fiery telepathic on the third eye connection of the twins inspiring each other energetically lighting each other up that's what's needed here wow so let's see we have uh sag leo Aquarius, taurus scorpio we have gemini pisces gemini again scorpio aquarius pisces wow all right so what i want to do here now um Virgo is C, purpose mission, any other energies we need to know. Now when I talk about this portion, this is more about the purpose of your connection and the possible mission, whether it's independently, together. So, all right, so what do we need to know about purpose, mission, energy here for Virgo? What else do we need to know? Okay, I thought one wanted to come out. One, let's get three. Two, one more, one more. All right, that's too many. One more. Okay, that one. All right, let's see. Surrender. I can release my need to control. So it could be one here is trying to control the whole situation, the energy being over controlling of one's energy and not giving any at all to anyone else um, or the other part of this connection it's about surrendering more to the energy the spirituality the 5d connection the, the telepathic connection here not all of it just a little bit peace i'm being i am a being of love and i i release all negative energy surrender and releasing here 
envy. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. There could be a little bit of jealousy here. Um, I wasn't really feeling that, but it does say challenges. So definitely this could be a challenge of surrendering more to the connection, surrendering more to the 5D, the spirituality of this, trying to balancing out that energy where we're giving a little bit to each other spiritually, energetically, but not all of it. So we can inspire the energetic connection and putting that work in spiritually. So I definitely felt like that was not coming out here. That's definitely the challenge here. I don't know if others are jealous. Um, like if you say, well, I, I want to go, oh, I'm really into meditating and doing this and that, and I want to go do that. And maybe others are jealous that you're not spending time with them, whether it be friends, family. There's definitely here about, this could be a lot about um, doing yoga, meditating, finding inner peace and balance and surrendering to things that you need to surrender to or sur when surrender from and not let giving into jealousy or let others jealousy or envious energy affect you or even two people as a couple as well. So I feel like that I'm getting a lot of surrounding peace around meditation, yoga, uh, spiritual practices as well. All right. So let's see. I feel like, you know, whether you just do it, um, you, you know, I'm not saying, oh, you have to be a yoga, you know, instructor or um, someone who does meditation for the collective or whatever here. It just could be you do it for yourself. And it helps to rise, raise the vibration of not only your connection, the universal energy of the twins as well. So that could be it as well as getting more into spiritual practices here and surrendering a little bit more to the journey, to the connection. And don't worry about others' jealousy or whatever the case may be. All right, so let's see, whatever, whatever. <laughs> What? Yeah, it's like saying, whatever, yeah. See, I had a flame go out. So somehow I feel like the flame is not burning as brightly as it could be between the two of you. Because we do have the three of wands, but we don't have the four of wands. But six of cups, you definitely have that past life connection here. And this could have to do like childhood trauma, childhood things, things of the past, surrendering them, healing them through spiritual practices as well. King of Cups, and he's actually in a yoga, <laughs> yoga or meditative um, pose here. So that's funny. <laughs> Loving oneself as well, standing up, healthy boundaries. Again, another yoga pose. That is just two yoga poses here. That is just crazy. Meditation, yoga, self-love, value, worth, that could be a thing. Inner peace, surrendering what we need to surrender to or from, not worrying about other people around us, king of wands, focusing on our own fire and passion, four of pentacles, protecting our energy in the world, learning how to cut cords that are no longer serving us too as well. So a lot coming out here, um, I'm feeling like a lot of spiritual practice uh, so that could be a mission for one of you, two of you, or just something that you both do individually or on your own, personally, maybe, and just helps to live, lift the vibration of the, ener you know, the universal energy of the twins as well. Wow, so let's see, we have Leo, Chris, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Pisces, Nine of Wands, yeah, Perseverance, not giving up. Fighting through, even though we feel wounded, fighting through and healing those wounds, the star. So, you know, even when feeling like all hope is lost, still to persevere and to move on. King of Pentacles. So valuing ourselves. So there's definitely a lot here about self-value as well. So we have Virgo showing up, Aquarius. That is actually you, Virgo. So this may be something you do, Page of Wands. Could be a new creative idea, pursuit. Definitely you could be starting this on your own. It's near and dear to your heart here with the Ace of Cups something you absolutely love. So let's see, we have Sag here as well. So this could be something, Virgo, that you just may do on your own. Whether the masculine joins you in the future, I mean, they could, totally. All right, so 
let's see what else we need to know. So I think what I'm going to do here is um, pull some of these on the masculine side first. So these are the untold truths of the heart. So what do we need to know on the masculine side first? Untold truths of the heart. What do we need to know on the masculine side? One day, some day, somewhere, another time. Hmm, interesting. Depth, complexity, awareness, importance. Wow, so he knows that someday that something's meant to happen here because this is a deep connection. There's the flames, tension, turbulence, argument, stress. He could be a little stressed out by this right now. I just want to shuffle this again. What else here? For the masculine. Distance barriers, separation space. So he definitely could be at a distance from each other. Harmony, peace, balance, friendship. Yeah, he definitely wants things to come back or be in harmony between you. Letting go, releasing, walking away, moving on. Hmm. He may feel like the, because that spiritual connection isn't here, he may be feeling like the feminine has let go. So let's see what is on the feminine side. Boundaries. No drawing the line. Yeah, I feel like the feminine just kind of like pfft, no more physical, no more spiritual energy towards the masculine. And that's what's really um, needing to change here. Conflicted, multiple choices, inconsistent decisions. I feel like she's made that decision. Now she's conflicted. Maybe she's done the right thing. Despair, falling apart, sinking, and hopeless. Yet I did feel like she was more waiting on the physical to come together here. But I think before that happens, the spiritual connection has to be stronger. The chase, preparation, relentless pursuit, victory. I'm feeling light, not physically, but now the feminine, I don't I don't really feel like chasing the masculine, but chase or chasing him spiritually, but kind of now, I guess in a way, but giving more of her spiritual energy to him. So I guess in the way that would it's like chasing him to bring him back to reconnect the spiritual energy. Not to like hunt him down, hunt him down and chase him and drive him away again, but that's kind of what I'm feeling here. Emotional whirlwind, affected, dramatic, unstable. Yeah. Clinging, holding on, obsessing, watching. Yeah. So if she's more connected here to the three D, she needs to let that go a little bit here. So let's see what else we need to know here. I am like so hot right now. Apology, return, forgiveness, and gifts. Hmm. So the universe is like, look, you need to apologize here. Longing, you're both longing for each other, wanting to apologize, maybe for, but ego is getting in the way here. Pride, clarity, honesty, attention, truth. So, yeah, even as even if it's energetically, five D, mm -hmm. kind of getting like the crystal ball here. We'll bring in. Yeah, there is a lot of chemistry here. Spark, passion, desire, and established. Family, triumph, security. This can be a well-established, it's like the four of wands for me, connection here. There is the chemistry, but now everything is feeling a little bit illusioned here because there's a lot of pretending. We need to nourish that uh, spiritual connection here. Definitely. All right, Virgo, that's what I have for you. So I hope that helped, that resonated. And again, everything you need to know is down below. I am wishing you the best, and I shall see you next time.